Welcome back to Sonic Generations 3DS for the last level of the Mon Era, Tropical Resort. Hell yeah! And unlike the HD version where they ended on a uh, level from Colors, and it was kind of a really bad and boring way to end the level, sorry, to end the game, this is a really fun and awesome way to end the game. I freaking love Tropical Resort on the 3DS version. Mm -hmm, probably the best level in the game, and definitely one of the best in Generations as a whole. It's not final level material, you know, it's not dark and dangerous leading into a final boss, but what it is, is nice and colourful, it's got some great music and it is fun as shit to play through. What the hell was that wisp you were using? That, my friend, was Burst from the DS version of Colours. Oh, that's why I've never seen it. Burst kind of handles like a mix between the lightning and, f and flame shield from Sonic 3. It's lightning because you go up with like a double jump, but it's flame because you're clearly on fire. And actually, in the um, SD version of Colors, if you look carefully in the ending, you can see Burst among all the wisps that appear. Crafty motherfuckers. Now, one of the, one of the, I know Dimps get a lot of flack for their level design, but one thing I kind of like about um, Tropical Zool, which I think I mentioned in Water Palace, was that this level as we're playing right now is they kind of design, based it off the level design on the DS version of Tropical Resort. Mm -hmm. The modern level is based off the Wii version of Tropical Resort. And I think they do a, they do like, like these things here, these kind of like weird, you know, tone poles that eat Sonic for some reason, um, out of the DS version. It just, to me, it's just. It's really pretty, it's probably some of the best dimps level design in this game. I miss Sonic Advance when they actually gave a shit about creating intricate levels and whatnot. Yeah, I mean, like, um, the Advance, you could, uh, Advanced 1, you could probably argue as probably some of the best level design from a dimps game, but it's also kind of has Sonic 4 syndrome of pretty much, it has nothing new. All the level tropes are just reused from Sonic 1 to 3. Yeah. Because, you know, like, you know, well, you know, it's not far better for me to say that Neo Green Hill Zone is based on anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's clearly original. Oh, yeah. And Secret Base, which is the second level in a game, which looks nothing like a kind of plant that may or may not make chemicals. Secret Base. <laughs> what kind of name is that? This is a base and it's secret. Well, this is for the same company who later brought out Sonic and the Secret Rings, in which none of those rings are secret. Everyone fucking knows about them. <laughs> the public domain rings. <laughs> Sonic and the Public <laughs> Common creative license rings. <laughs> uh, Steven, I, I, I keep forgetting this, mate. Have you played Generation 3DS? No, I haven't played that. Nor have I played the DS version of Colors. So that's why I was inquiring about the burst that we're seeing right now. Just to uh, fill you in about Colors DS. Fun game, but if you don't like dimps placing bottomless pits everywhere, especially at the end of a level... You'll hate it with a passion. Trust me on this one. But I'm loving this with a passion. Yeah, I, I will say in both the classic and modern levels, Dimps end it with a, a completely original gimmick. Because we've seen classic, and I use these fireworks to, to reach the top. He's using fireworks to reach to reach the um, stars because to him they look pretty far. He's gonna find his own way and take a chance on a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, kids, don't try this at home. You won't reach the stars, you'll just explode. I love the fact that in the background you see this kind of convoy of, of like, like flying cars, but they're clearly just going in a, in a circle. It's like, yeah, we'll be back again in five minutes. Like, what, what is that, seriously? Well, <laughs> it must be a bitch finding, you know, parking spaces and whatnot. You know what's really a bitch in Tropical Resort is finding chicks. Because, I mean, there's literally no people here well, at the, all. Well, the park hasn't opened yet. Well, you say that in the... You say that the instruction manual for Sonic Colors, the Wii version, makes a, makes reference of, of a crowds of people getting there to... Because, you know, to um for, to witness Dr. Eggman's unveiling of Tropical Resort. And again, in the opening... <laughs> in, 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 that, in the, stop right true. there! The game previously, he blew up the Earth. Yeah! Sonic put it back together... Eggman's like, okay, I've got a new amusement park. You guys want to come? Well, see, that that's the plan. As he says, as he says in class, he's like, I've created this park as a way of saying, my bad. I blew, I blew up the moon. I blew up the world. I kind of unleashed the fire god that kind of screwed all the people. My bad. I'm sorry. Have a roller coaster. Which, you know, is a pretty, you know, pretty decent way of apologizing. But so, yeah, the instructor only says, 
crowds of people gathered to witness it. And again, in the um, intro scene where they play Reach for the Stars, you see Eggman like take a bow with all this like confetti. So he's obviously like bowing to people. But then you get you get to the game, and then there's like no, oh, there are just robots which Sonic destroys. Yeah, but then he laughs evilly, like he doesn't expect anyone to know it. He laughs evilly, yeah, but that's just, he's, an, he's an idiot. Yeah, Eggman's the smartest idiot I've ever known. <laughs> He's like Dr. Wily, they're both morons, but for some reason they get, they must get like grants from the government to continue to fund their projects. Like, I don't <laughs> understand. How are they getting this money for? Seriously, man. And here we see laser. Doesn't really require any explanation. Uh, well, if you played colors anyway, but basically, you shoot yourself like a laser, you hit things, they die. The end. Like a laser. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's called laser. It was originally going to be called pencil, but yeah. Pencil! You just become pointless. That's the power, that's the wisp we needed. Pencil! Eraser! <laughs> the Pencil Gin. I'm sorry, but I freaking love this kind of surfer remix of Tropical Resort. Tommy O'Tinney did such a damn good job on this. Unlike someone else we could mention, remixing his own music. No, this, I love this, this kind of gimmick, this like, you have to change the rails, how would you get destroyed by fireballs for some reason? Okay. Why'd they put more effort into this level than all the others? Because Tropical Resort, it's an amazing level. It's an, I love Tropical Resort, it's one of my favorite levels from any recent Sonic game. I'll be honest, in this 3DS playthrough I've been kind of bored, but this level I've been really excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first part where Steven's has actually been watching the video as we're talking over it. Yeah, to uh, maybe go into a little bit of detail about why they put my effort into the end of games, it's so you'll remember that and not the rest of the time, which was mostly padding. Ah, uh, good point. Which, which, it's kind of weird that the HD team kind of took the reverse. We'll make the entire game amazing, except for the last level and the final boss. Yay! <laughs> I'll be honest, the HD version, I don't go back and play it that often. There's something about it that just doesn't call to me. It doesn't say, Steven, come play me like other Sonic games do. Okay, so what are these games that that call to you in a suggestive manner? Um, um, Unleashed. That one calls to me all the time. I love that. Really? Game. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> Gareth is that thing in the background right now. I was like, what? Well, anyways. Okay, Mr. Linear Booster Win. How about it? God, not another special. Tom, I told you to cut this out. <laughs> I told you to come on for pickups. You didn't do it. Now enjoy, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone sing along. Special, 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 special stage. Special, 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 special stage. stage. So, Tom, I haven't, I don't remember playing these for a little while. Is this, would you say this is the hardest? Or is it one of those games like, say, Sonic 1, where, like, KSM World 4 is actually harder than 6? Yeah, that's really weird, but in this regard, um, on my first time through, it took me two tries to get the Chaos Emerald. Compare that to Special Stage 7 from Rush, and it's a bit silly, really. They've dumbed down these special stages exponentially in the last few years. I'm okay with that. <laughs> they're, they're too hard sometimes. Special Stage 7 from Episode 2. I am looking directly oh, at you. I don't know how you did that. I don't know. I can't do it. That literally took me three hours and a whole lot of patience to get through Special Stage 7. I think I was like ten rings away and that was using a partner controlling Tails and we still couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you did it by yourself, man. I applaud you. Because I'm, I'm, I'm great at gate one. Okay, I was, no, I'm not great at games. I'm adequate at Sonic games. I put in the Get All 7 Chaos Emeralds code and I still only got six. <laughs> I, I, you know, you know what? This game, this game would have been great if only they would have included debug mode. Oh my God! It's Palm Tree the Tree, Sonic's greatest rival. <laughs> Palm Tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like if you took Wispy Woods and gave him an even more redundant name, Palm Tree the Tree. I'm sorry. What? What is Silver? What Silver Tropical Resort? I. Which again. It, if you would have played the uh, DS version, all the characters, basically all the supporting cast, appear in Colors DS, and I think Silver may even appear in Tropical Resort, I forget. Yeah, he came back in time to see the amusement park. True story. <laughs> Sega! Yeah! 
<laughs> I love that pop-up, yeah. I remember hearing that there's a reason the park was great, so I travelled back 200 years to the past. <laughs> even, though I, even though I'm pretty sure roller coaster technology has probably improved in my time, fuck it, I'm gonna come back. Silver, you can fly. That's, that's <laughs> gotta be more thrilling than a friggin' roller coaster. Fly and pick up things with your brain. What, why would you want to just, yeah, sit on, on a little bit of metal and go up and down for a bit? <sighs> we, you know, we tried to make roller coasters in my timeline, but it was no use. It wasn't. You may as well just give up. I don't understand why Dr. Eggman's always trying to build a theme park. Sonic's world is kind of like one giant theme park. You got loop-de-loops. You got um, loop-de-loops. <laughs> Yeah, yeah loop the loops. <laughs> um, the, the different the difference is is that kind of like how governments work is that you can't make money off it if it's free. So that's why he makes his own and it says it's just like what you got out there, only much more expensive. So come in and buy tickets. Now how come they didn't put Eggman announcements in these levels? I was just about to say that, yeah, it's the only thing missing from this version of Tropical Resort. And you know, you can take or leave the color soundtrack, some find it corny. I personally find at least the Eggman announcements to be genuinely funny. But yeah, it's lacking a little. Now this I will say, I I don't know why they brought the Egg Emperor back for. It was a kinda of, it was a boring boss fight in Heroes and it hasn't changed now. It's it's a garbage fight in Heroes is what it is. It's clunky as shit and it's just unfun to play. Luckily, however, at least with a bit of practice, this version is much more enjoyable. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it, it's more enjoyable than the Heroes one, but that's saying a punch in the stomach is more enjoyable than being kicked in the balls. It's not that, that much fun of a fight. Well, it's still enjoyable no matter how you look at it. I would have I would have selected the Nega Wisp armor from Colors, personally. Oh, yes! Yes! Especially because, for my money, again, the uh, the DS version, the version in, in the DS game, makes more sense. It feels more like an like an actual f- kind of. It feels like a better fight because Eggman uses all the wisp powers, as opposed in the um, Wii version, where it's just hover, 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 spikes, cube, lol, hover, hover. Like, oh, this, this is fun. Thanks a lot, Eggman. Again, you know, I know I kind of harp on a bit about music, but this one really just sounds like the original Egg Emperor, only with the bass turned up a bit too high. Yeah, and this track is so freaking repetitive. Anytime this comes up on my iTunes, I'm like, skip. <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's just, look at this, what is he doing? Eggman, I'm on a 3D, you can walk over to me and hit me. Oh no, I've only just realized that, but it's too late. It's all over for you! Dun 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 <laughs> Oh joy. <laughs> bit of a uh, bit, bit, bit of trivia here. The uh, name Egg Emperor is also used in one of Eggman's mechs in Sonic X. It's the uh, it's the mech Eggman uses to pummel Sonic into submission before he becomes supersonic for the first time. In episode twenty six, the birth of supersonic. Why do you know these things? I don't know, Tom. I, 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 I have a problem. Please, please help me. <laughs> Why do I know Sonic X trivia for? Why? I, lo- I still love that line. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't get that memo. I beat you every time. All Stars Racing Transformed has ruined that line for me. They use that All Stars Racing Transformed? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't get that memo. We beat you every time. I love in this version of the cartoon, Eggman's just standing there like, yeah, okay, <laughs> now what? Oh no, the Pokemon cards come back. I'm fucked now. <laughs> it's the 90s all over again. Wrap it up. We're wrapped up here. See you next time. <laughs>